for 25,000 years, mankind has sought to improve their lot and increase their wealth and their ability to feed themselves by manipulating energy, starting with firewood. This is the result of a photosynthetic process where the sunlight converted by vegetation to form a carbohydrate, which it can store as food for the plant. If the plant dies, it doesn't need it much longer, but we do, and we burn those carbohydrates to cook our food and to stay warm. That was the beginning. If you rearrange that just a little bit by putting it in the ground for a million years, now you get a hydrocarbon, coal, oil, natural gas, and we can burn those. But the highest order of our achievement has been the development of electricity. But it's a really ugly process of burning a hydrocarbon to heat water, to make steam, to turn a turbine. And the turbine turns a alternator and the alternator produces electricity, which we then wire to each other across the entire continent on cables. And it's only 150 years old at most, but there's a bypass, and we are on the cusp of it. The bypass is we take the sun, you can keep the water, and we're going to convert it directly into electricity, eliminating the transport of the fuel, the burning of the fuel, the heating of the water, the turning of the turbine, which in turn turns the altimeter, and then all the transportation. We can put photoelectric cells directly on the roof of where we need to use the electricity, and we can convert sunlight to electricity directly. This was first and best described by Albert Einstein. You'll be shocked to learn he did not win a Nobel Prize for the theory of general relativity, and he didn't receive it for the theory of special relativity. He received it for a description of the photoelectric effect.